this video I'm going to be talking about Canon 7D Mark II. The camera has the best autofocus system so far in any Canon crop sensor camera in my experience but it is a complex focus system and uh, it takes a little bit of work to perhaps get the best out of that autofocus system. I'm going to explain how I set up my own 7D Mark II with my preferred aim of taking images of moving subjects. So uh, straight away I'm going to just touch the shutter button, wake up my camera. If you push the info button on the back, um, you'll see on the, the back screen you've got a lot of your settings there. And uh, further to that, if you push the Q button, you actually get an, a little joystick enabled um, navigator. So I'm going to move to the focus mode. So the default on the camera is one shot. Um, I'm going to push set which takes me into that menu. Um, now you can see there's three options. One shot, AR focus and AR servo. So the difference between those, those uh, three focus options one shot is pretty much for static subjects. So uh, when you want to lock and hold and recompose, when your subject isn't going anywhere, that's a good one to use. One shot confirms focus by making a beeping noise. If we go over to the far right, the third choice, AI servo, that's Canon's focus mode for moving subjects. So basically between every frame, the camera tries to uh, refocus. So that is going to be my choice for um, moving subjects. The, the setting in the middle, uh, AI focus, is really one which is, which is uh, an automatic setting. It's meant to switch to one shot behavior if your subject isn't moving or if you have a moving subject, it will switch over the camera's focus mode to servo. Um, but personally, I find I get the best results by Keeping my camera in servo, I ignore the AR focus setting um, and I switch over to one shot when I really need it. To put it into servo, I just select it and I push set. So now if you look at the back screen, you can see that uh, servo is highlighted and we've now enabled the focusing mode uh, for, for moving subjects. That's, that's the first setting. Um, after that, I go to the menu and I go to a screen on the menu called custom controls. So it's in the it's in the orange menu and it is the third tab in the orange menu. I push set to take me into custom controls and what you can see on the back of the 7D2 there's a great little graphic representation here of your camera and all its buttons that are configurable. So this is where I'm going to uh, set up the controls on my camera to make it easier for me to navigate around the focus grid uh, quickly. So I'm going to start out um, with the first symbol which, uh, which is that of a shutter. So basically it says, if I push set to go in there, it says shutter button is going to give me metering and focus start, which is good. I'm not a back button focus uh, user. I prefer to focus on the front shutter. So right now, when I touch the shutter, my camera focuses. Um, I'm gonna push the menu again, go back into custom controls. The second button on there is AF off. What that is, is it's a button that's dedicated for back button focus on the camera. Very useful for folk who do back button focus. Um, as I said, I'm not one of those. But what I do, I'm just going to go back in there, back into custom controls, select that option. The default uh, setting is exactly the same as what's on the front shutter. I'm going to change it to the one that says AF off. So why I'm doing that is if I'm in servo and I'm focusing on something um, and I find that that thing stops moving for a moment, and my grid of focus points doesn't match up to my composition, um, instead of going into one shot, I can just simply
press in the AF on button and hold it and while I'm holding it in the camera will not refocus. I can then recompose, uh, frame as I want, trip the shutter and as soon as I let go of the AF on button I'm back into uh, the um, servo mode ready for, for that motion in, in my subject. I'm going to go back into that screen so custom controls the graphic comes up we've, we've set the first two buttons which were the shutter and the AF on button we made AF on button AF off um, just to give us that added flexibility of being able to recompose in servo um, and then I'm going to just click down the grid uh, until I get to the little symbol that uh, looks like a, an, a radiating star. So that symbol refers to the autofocus joystick on the back of cameras like the 7D Mark II. As it comes, uh, it's defaulted to be switched off, which means first you have to push the button on the far right, and then can you only move your focus points around. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to push set and go in there. Uh, as you can see, it's off. I'm going to go over to select the focus grid and I'm going to push set. So basically what that means once I get a graphic view here is that should I want to move a focus point on my 7D2 um, all I really have to do uh, is just move the joystick. So as you can see I just move the joystick with my thumb and the focus point moves along quite happily. Uh, anytime I'm out on the edge of the grid, I want to get back to the middle because there's so many points I'll just push the button in the middle and it jumps back to the center of the grid. I'm going to just uh, clear that screen there. Right, we'll go back to custom controls one more time and now we'll go to the, the very last option on there uh, which is uh, a little circular symbol that actually denotes the little lever that is unique to the 72 at this stage in Canon's range um, and sits just around the focus joystick. So I'm going to end, push set to get in there. As you can see the default is off and I'm going to take the option that says direct autofocus area selection. So a lot of words but what does that mean? Push set and we've, we've got it enabled and I'll show you. So right now, um, if we were looking to choose between a single focus point or one of the other groupings of focus points that the 72 offers us, uh, we're able to do that directly by just moving the joystick with my thumb. So it's, uh, it's a very, very quick way to, to change uh, whether you're using a single point or uh, any, any of the other six uh, options, uh, right up to 65 points. So once the camera is active and if you're looking through the viewfinder, you touch the shutter, simply rocking that lever with my thumb will cycle me through those modes. So in the next video on the 7D Mark II's autofocus, we're going to be looking at what the differences are between these seven focus uh, groupings uh, that the camera has. Subscribe to this channel if you want to keep getting videos about Canon gear from a wildlife photographer's perspective.